I didn't have many friends when I was young. Kind of been cycling with that recently. So I identify with you. Bernice, your Bernice's grandson, I think. Um, people were saying that I r reminded them of Dax Flame back in the day. Every once in a while, I get comments that be like, is this the Dax Flame? Dax Flame? And I remember first checking it out when you had like, 700 subscribers or something, I'm thinking, this guy's kind of cool, kind of strange, funny. Now I see super brilliant, super genius, and very, and I was going to say very young, younger than me, Rel like the body is, your, your body is younger, I think you're in high school, you said, so I, I, I've been through that, although your mind is more advanced than my mind was when my body was 16 or 17. Uh, I think your mind is hyper advanced, so that's why you feel like you don't have any friends, or that you don't know pe that people hate you. You just think really well, like deep underneath what people are used to seeing. And it's funny sometimes, man, when you put it to a scooter, but it's a little alienating. Sometimes a lot alienating, and when enough people alienate, I made this metaphor. This is the third time I've used this metaphor, but it's just such a powerful metaphor. When enough people, you feel like enough people, like not everybody hates you at all by any stretch, but when enough people start to hate you on the tipping scale, it weights it and sends you like, flying. Like, you're like, oh, everybody hates me. And then it's like, back off. Get, I got to get the fuck away from this. And that, I think, happens uh, a, lot, a lot more frequently with the video technology because just so many people that see you all at once. It's very un, not unnatural. We're kind of naturalizing it, but in the history of humanity... It's kind of weird for to have like 10,000 people see you in a day when you see six people or two people. It's a bit imbalancing and tenses and stresses the psyche because it's affecting you. It's passing in from out just because they're not sitting in the room. It's they're, they're seeing you. They know you're there. Funky shit, man. Anyway, I'm interested in getting on MSN or Skype stick cam like one of these but like MSN or Skype and uh, talking to you really and listening to you man because I've been where you are dude I've been in like high school like junior high school sophomore year high school not having, having like one friend and not knowing like feeling like the smartest person in the room and not having anyone to talk to and being afraid to say what I'm thinking it's hard for people around man this is a lot easier dude we can use this technology, and I'm sure I can learn from you. Like, that's the thing. I'm not, like, trying to help you. I'm trying to help myself by helping you, by helping me, by, by learning about it. Because you know stuff that I don't know. You're probably going to be able to tell me a lot of stuff. <laughs> Give me a ring, dude. Send me an email or hook me up. Let me know uh, what your address is or where you, where you go for your video chats and we'll rendezvous. See you.